Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rick Hollis. I'm about to show my friend Dan Cox from The Poor the Synergy Sin 2 and the modular system. G'day folks, I'm Rick Hollis. And I'm Daniel Cox. We are going to explore the Synergy Sin 2 system. Dan knows nothing about it. I'm gonna tell him about it. He's gonna ask me the questions. Natural, awkward, just like this intro. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what do we have here? Dan, this is the Synergy Sin 2. It's a preamp, essentially. Okay. That wow. is the preamp section of, so OS is Overdrive Special, a Dumble style amp. This one here is an SLO module. This is designed by Mike Soldano. It right. is the preamp of an SLO 100. Right. So, all those boxes you have behind you, Yep. You're probably going to recognize some of the names there. Engel Powerball. Right. Um, there's some of them a little bit coded, you know, like uh, Synergy B-Man. It's like a baseman type of thing, etc. It yeah. is the preamp section of all those freaking amps, okay. which slot into here. And So um, tell me about this this little rack unit thing. Okay. Do you, you obviously you would need this whole unit for these to work, right? That's right. So this is the chassis. This is the SIN 2. SIN 2 holds two. There's a, a smaller one called a SIN 1, yeah. which just holds one at a time. There's two channels on each one. Okay. So essentially that's a four channel preamp. You can switch between channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4 okay. on each one. Yep. Yeah. Pick a module, man. Oh, the choice. Well... I've been eyeing off this little green sucker down the bottom here. The Steve Vai one. Because I love Steve Vai. Yep. So Steve Vai uses this stuff too now. He has two SIN 2s, so he has four modules in his rack. So mate, these just slide in this little slide. rails. And I have a full controller down here. So check this out, mate. So there's channel one. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see the light. I was channel two. Channel three will jump over to here. Oh, yep. Channel four on there. There is also a matching power amp that goes with it, a stereo one called the Sin 5050. I didn't get one of those in because I already had a, a Fryat power station. Now, Steve Fryat designed the Synergy one as well. This has one more trick up its sleeve, man. Okay. You notice I got a Friedman head there? Yep. So I can actually can... flick between those four channels and the channels on that. Okay, how? This is connected to the effects loop of that. On the back, it's clearly labeled to amp input and then from effects send and effects return. Right. So essentially, so it's got this that. This is the preamp? No. Or the power amp stage? I could do both. So you can't use that on its own with those? Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. These can be um, extension channels for your existing head if you have a serial effects loop on there. Yeah, right. So that obviously is your EQ3. Yeah. Volume and gain for each channel. Yep. And then what are these little switches? You got bright, bright and fat switch on the bottom channel and a boost and a bright switch on your top channel. Yep. So what are these guys generally retail for? In Australia, yep. each module is $639. Wow. There's just over 20 modules available at the moment. Wow. Let's have a play with it, man. Yeah, sweet. Grab your guitar. Just play a bit, mate. Um, <laughs> I don't have any effect. I don't have. But. <laughs> so that's channel one, the clean channel. So how would you select between each unit? Do you, you mainly if you do don't have the, the full board? controller, you hit this button here. The I was gonna say one thing, it's got a real nice uh, natural amp vibe to it too. Turning the volume down, you get a nice real amp feel. Nice sustain. I wanted to, when you messaged me to ask what this was, yep. everyone uses modelers for fly gigs. You do fly gigs, right? Yeah. 
I just want to turn some fucking knobs. Oh yeah. I just want to turn some fucking knobs. You, you're playing, you're playing somewhere, and you're like, I just need to adjust this. Hey, I just go menu diving on my modeler. I was gonna say this looks like a great alternative for people who want to dive into that world without buying something like a camper or like. Absolutely, dude. Soldano. Okay, one thing these guys have done, yep. which I fucking love, <laughs> that is all coming down one cable, because on the back of that is a seven pin MIDI cable with an inlet for power, so it's sending power ah, down so to you my don't controller. Have to, don't have to power your controller, you can have a long MIDI cable to the front of your stage. Absolutely dude, absolutely. And that is wow. so easy to do. It's a kick ass system dude. Let me turn that on and I'll let it warm up a bit. It's, it's very, uh, it has that Live amp feel, like proper. It is. I mean, you can't you can't hear differences, but I'm but not I'm not lacking I'm not lacking in that feel. Yeah, yeah. That, that you miss sometimes when you play through some of those digital effects. So totally. totally. still got that natural amp feel under your fingers. Mate, I I like using a speaker box live at four by twelve. Yeah. Now, I tried. I've got Helix, I've got a Kempar, I've tried Axe Effects, an older version, um, and I've used the models in, in those, but disabled the speaker simulation and ran through speaker boxes, and then A beat it to using real heads, and it's just like, uh, I can sit, I can spend hours tweaking it trying to get it the it's same, not, but not it's just, there. it's just not. Um, so, this is. Yeah. So it's kind of like... modeling, but with real tubes and circuitry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that no, sounds great. I would be more than happy to take that on the road. It's quite small and flyworthy. Yeah. Sure. I've actually been recording this director Pro Tools over there using the speaker simulated out on this. And what that is, is essentially the same as the speaker simulated out on a Friedman head. That's built into that. This has a stereo one on the back. Let's try some other modules. Yeah, sweet. I saw one here, VH4. Yeah, diesel. Uh, down the bottom right there, yeah. I haven't even used a diesel lamp before. So. Me either. So this is the thing, all these amps that we hear about that are like, oh, I'd like to try one of those. Here they are. You know, it's... Ogna Ecstasy. Let's give those two a crank. Okay. <laughs> what do you recommend? Rad setup, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Oh, I, want, I want one already. Dude, it's got two 12x7s in each one. Alright, so it doesn't matter which side I pop this in there. No. I might give this a whirl, see how easy it is. Simple as that. Yep. Wow. Did you Dude. want to grab a guitar for this one and I'll do some knob tweaking? If you want to. Whatever that did. Bottom end. It did. A bit of girth. Yeah. You know what else I really like about this man is there's a master volume at the end for it all. Hey, that's good. Yeah. So you've you got to adjust it. So you got a sag. sag. So that's that's your like your amp sag tone. Yeah. So when you're playing a small amps and the power struggles to. Yeah, you got that. It's kind of like you can hear at the amp like pushing differently through the speakers. Exactly. Rising. It sounds like tape saturation to me. It's like it's compressing. So that's 
that's the Bogner. That's the Bogner. All right, let's jump over to the diesel. Diesel. Give this one a whirl. The screaming diesel. Whoa! Already. Oh, 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 oh. Let's have that sag down. Hello, hello, Hatfield. <laughs> See you do your judo well. Ah uh, yes, I see that you know your judo well. <laughs> My judo. <laughs> Is this not the ultimate way to try every dream amp out there and see which, in an A B situation, really is for you? Yeah, I I think it's great. I mean, you can really hear the texture in all these different amplifiers so quickly. I can see for me loading up the first one with like maybe the Morgan AC, which is like a souped up AC 30 style amp. And then, man, there's so many to try to find exactly what my flavor of. Especially if you've got the four channel variations like this, obviously you've got two there, two there. You can go full spectrum, right? Dude. Go all the way to full. Five channels. Full blown out. Use your, use your own head. But I mean, if you were just taking that, yep. you, you've got yep. the ability to go, you know, you clean, you sparkly clean if you want with the effects all the way up to screaming Eddie Van Halen tones or obviously metal tones if you need yep. to. Foot switchable with a MIDI controller. And if you have got quite a lot of variation, you can take a couple with you and you know, if it's not sounding right for the room, switch it out. Maybe this isn't doing it for me tonight. Maybe I'll chuck in a different amp and, and get that vibe of the room. Because each room sounds Everyone's different. Everyone's different and that's the thing, man. I just want fucking knobs to turn. When I was using an ADA, <laughs> yeah. that was the one thing. I had to go menu diving through all my presets to find <laughs> would that. would an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Whereas here, <laughs> can you just back off the metal just a touch? Sure. Yes. Done. <laughs> Don't just pull Anything out a module. Like. Pull it yeah, yeah. But with what yeah. you already got there, you can just adjust the, the gain or yeah. Tweak it. You've, you've hired different backline cabs and holy crap, these ones have... Got too thunderous it. and you just want to wind back with the bass and not have to go through all your presets and do that yeah this is the fucking go what's great man is you generally didn't know what this was about you no, saw me post a picture I no idea and I saw and that's when you said what what's this synergy stuff and i said how about you come over tomorrow and i'll show you and we'll roll some cameras so, yeah we're in some of the shots maybe some of them we're not <laughs> and um, no what nobody wants to have you know a wall of amps sitting at their house taking up room when there's guys that do that but most of them don't play in bands it's hard to tour these days and take them with you <laughs> yeah yeah this is fly gig, fly gig. i am sold so the power amp you said you can buy a power amp from synergy right they do sin 50 50 it's called is it same sort of size as this or is it it's smaller? a single rack space single rack space so like that yep all right so yep. that, that'll even bring down the the room as well because i'm only hearing about this now yeah I don't know why you know that you know i play through a 5150 generally for me, jumping into one of these straight off the bat, what would you recommend for me? I would, if none of those, if you tried all mine and it wasn't there and you go, it's not quite the same, Salvation Audio, make they're the third party that make other modules. Okay. And they've got a slew of other things. So they've got like Orange, Cameron, uh, 5150, you name it, essentially, every dream amp, if Synergy haven't made it. So they're compatible with the Synergy they're rack? They're totally compatible, man. Totally compatible. That's the great thing about it. They've, they've done it so that all the old stuff still works with this. Um, the old stuff doesn't have two channels. So the Salvation Mods 1 is only a single channel. But if you uh, die hard after your 5150 sound, you would get pretty darn close yeah. with one of those. I mean, some of these ones, one of the ones you had on early, earlier got quite close to that tone anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I wouldn't even have to go too far out yeah. to get that. You know, yeah, modern day, and you never know, man. You might play one of these, and you said you'd never played a diesel before. No. I've never played Bogner Ecstasy before, no. so I might play one of these and go, Oh, this is my new flavor. You yeah. know, it's well, it's, I liked some of the tones I was hearing earlier from the ones that we had the Vi and what was the, the Soldano, yeah, Sounded yeah, killer man. Just AB them all with this system. I haven't played them all yet, but once I find my flavor. 
is my new bitch. <laughs> Folks, thanks for listening to two musos talking shit about something fantastic. Thanks, guys. See ya. Catch ya.